so today on the show, I thought we would do another fast, fun, simple, and super cute applique project that has multiple purposes. I am talking about this super cute little teddy bear face. I put this one on a barrette, so you can tell right away there are ample places to put this thing. But because it's a crochet applique, you can sew it onto baby blankets or hats or booties or leg warmers or scarves or sweaters or just about anything that you can knit or crochet. You can also put it in a scrapbook, put it on a card, hang it on a Christmas tree, pretty much anywhere you want to put a little bit of teddy bear, this is the applique project for you. You can make it in these crazy neon colors like I did, or you can do it in much more traditional colors like the one I'm going to do today. So without further ado, let's go to the craft table! For our teddy bear applique, we need four different colors of worsted weight yarn. You can use any size yarn really, but just make sure all four are the same weight. So you need a nice um, bare color. So I'm going to go with this nice little tawny brown. You can use dark brown or white even, whatever colors you like for your bear. You need black for the eyes. You need white for the nose, the muzzle of it. You also need a little bit of black for the, the nose that you're going to put on the muzzle. And you need a little bit of pink or a lighter color for the inner ear color. So four colors of yarn. I'm going to use a 4.25 millimeter hook or a G6. Once again, if you've got slightly thicker yarn that you're using, you can upsize your hook accordingly, but I find this size with worsted weight yarn works the best. You need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. And that's all you need. Let's get started. We're going to start with the head of the bear. So we're going to take our brown or our bear fur color. We're going to make a cinch circle. So I like to do that by wrapping it around my fingers, taking my hook, going through the middle, grabbing the other side of the string, and then before I pull away, chain one. And that will secure my cinch circle. Into our cinch circle, we're going to work eight single crochet. And as you know, a single crochet is pull up a loop and wrap, pull through both. Pull up a loop, wrap, and pull through both, both loops on your hook. So we're going to put eight single crochet into this magic or cinch circle. And if it's a little large, you can cinch it shut a bit just to make it a little easier to work with. And once you've got your eight single crochets in your cinch circle, and remember to count them all, you're going to take your short tail, give it a tug, and cinch your circle shut. Into each of these stitches, so we're going to work directly into the next one, we're not slip stitching, you're going to work two single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So your first row has eight, your second row We'll have 16, 3, 4, 15, 16. There you go. So row 2 has 16 stitches in it. We're going to do another increase row. So row 3, we're going to work directly into the next stitch. No joining with a slip stitch. Into the next stitch, so the first stitch of row 3, you're going to work 2 single crochet. 1, 2, one single crochet into the next stitch, two single crochet into the next, one into the next, and so on. So your pattern for row three is two, one, two, one, all the way around. And that will give you 24 stitches at the end of row three. 23, 24. All right, there is the head of our bear. So because that's the little bump where my row one turned into my row two, I'm just going to single crochet in the next couple of stitches just to even up my third row with that little space. So that little spot there, which I consider my start point, I'm just gonna even it up and then I'll slip stitch 
to close off my row so the slip stitch that I'm using will kind of smooth off that edge so it looks more round when the whole thing is finished and I will snip my yarn and take that tail and pull it back through that loop give it a nice tight tug and then we'll weave it in so I like to pick up a few stitches across the back of my work just like that then I weave the little tail up into the eye of my needle and pull it there we go and there's my nice round circle now we're going to move on to the ears we're going to start the same way with the ears so we're going to begin with a cinch circle and after you've chained one and you've got your cinch circle, cinch circle worked you're going to chain one more so in effect you're going to have two chains coming out of your cinch circle into your cinch circle you're going to half double crochet 12 times and a half double crochet is you wrap your yarn around your hook go through the cinch circle grab your yarn or wrap it around your hook so that you pull up a total of three loops on your hook wrap your yarn around your hook once more and pull back through all three that is a half double crochet so you wrap go through the hole grab the yarn and pull it back so you have one two three loops on your hook wrap your yarn and pull back through all three half double crochet you want to have 12 half double crochets put into your cinch circle and you can ignore the chain two at the very beginning so 12 real half double crochets into this cinch circle 12. once you have created your 12 half double crochets take your short tail and pull it tightly until it cinches your circle shut and then you're going to snip your yarn so you're going to give yourself a bit of a tail maybe six inches or so so around around 15 centimeters pull it back through that loop that was on your hook and pull it tightly and just leave it so you're not connecting your circle you're leaving it open so that should be like a little bit of a pie space there and that is ear outside ear number one you want to go ahead and make a second one of these now we're going to make the inner ear and the inner ear is structured sort of similarly to the outer ear so like the first two bits of this project we're going to start with a cinch circle chain one to secure your circle and that's all we're going to single crochet now into your cinch circle you're going to single crochet 10 so single crochet remember is only pulling up a loop so that you have two loops on your hook wrapping and pulling through both so we're gone back down to a single crochet and you want to put 10 of those into your cinch circle nine and 10. Once you have 10 single crochets into your cinch circle, grab your little short tail and pull it taut. I want you tighten up your circle. Then you're going to snip your yarn again, maybe five, six inches or um, 13 to 15 centimeters, and pull that back through your last loop, pull it tightly, and that is your inner ear and that is going to sit on top of your outer ear so you're going to sew that down to the inside of your outer ear but before you do that go ahead and make a second one of these okay we're going to assemble the ears so you're going to take an outer ear and you're going to take an inner ear and you're going to pair them up 
Just ignore all of the tails except for the long pink one for now. So you want to line up all your little tails to be right at the bottom. And you can grab your yarn needle, thread up that tail. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick up a stitch along the inside so there's there's the outside ridge or what we're going to call the outside ridge of the ear you're going to pick up a stitch along the inside of that ridge and then go directly through the whole stitch of the inner ear so a little outside piece of the stitch or a little outside just underneath the outer ridge and then through the whole side of the ear and you don't obviously need to grab one for each of the external stitches because the remember your outside is 12 stitches and your inside is 10 stitches so you're just going to keep your work sort of centered sort of sit back and look at it every once in a while make sure that it looks right and just pick up a stitch or a piece of a stitch along the inside of that ear all the way around and you'll notice by doing that you're not getting any stitches coming through on the back of your ear so if you just pick up a little stitch along the inside just underneath that outer edge and a whole part of the stitch of the inner ear you'll attach it nice and neatly and it won't come through the back once you get all the way around you can take both of those middle pink strings and just give them a knot so knot them together and then we're going to put them I'm going to trim them so they're both sort of the same length this just makes it easier to pull them into the inside of your inner ear so I'm going to do the same thing I'm just going to weave my hook, my needle through a few stitches here and I'm going to put both of those both of those through the eye of the needle and just pull it through those few stitches make sure I didn't pull it out of shape and then trim off the ends. There we go. And that is how you attach the inner ear to the outer ear of your little bear ear without having any stitches showing in the back. So go ahead and do number two. Now we're going to move on to the muzzle or the snout of our bear. And like the other pieces, we're starting with a cinch circle. So grab your white and we'll make ourselves another cinch circle there we go and into our cinch circle we are going to single crochet eight seven six eight eight single crochets. Take your little tail, pull it nice and taut, and this time we are going to join with a slip stitch. So you're going to take your hook and you're going to slip it in through that first single crochet that you made and you're going to wrap your yarn and pull it back through that single crochet and back through the hook, the loop on your hook. And that is going to securely finish off our little single crocheted circle and that's going to be the snout. So this is one that you're going to be sewing onto the front of the bear. So you're going to want to cut a length of tail about six inches long and then pull it back through that loop and give it a nice tight tunt and there is our muzzle. And that will sit about here on our bear and if it doesn't look quite muzzly enough yet then we're going to turn it into one right now 
you're going to take your black yarn and you're going to cut a length about a foot and a half long. So just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be a great big long amount, but you want enough to work with. You're going to take your yarn needle and thread up one end. And now I like to hold my snout by the little strings down at the bottom just so I have a good grip on it. You're going to take your needle and you're going to come from behind. So you're going to enter through the back of your snout right through the very center. So if you have to look at it, push it up right through the very center. And you're going to pull your yarn until most of it comes out. Leave a little bit behind so that you've got something to knot it with when you're finished. You're going to identify the top three stitches. So here's stitch number one, here's stitch number two, and there's stitch number three. These three stitches are going to create the top of your triangle. So you're going to take your yarn and you're going to pass your yarn needle through the first of your three stitches. And you're going to come back up through the center and go through the same stitch. Try to keep all your tails out of the way. Up through the center again. And now you're going to go through the middle stitch. So take care to go through the whole stitch from front to back. Keep those tails out of the way. And up through the middle. And one more time. And up through the middle again. And now you're going to do the third stitch. So you're going to pass your needle through the whole stitch, front to back. And up through the middle. And through that stitch again. Now we're not quite done. You're going to take your needle and come from the back through that first of the three stitches. So back to front and you're going to put it back through that third stitch front to back. And you're going to do that a couple times. Maybe even three. There we go. Now you're going to come back up through the middle for one last time. Might be getting a little tight so just be patient. And now you're going to decide that the where the immediate bottom is and that's typically where you've been sort of holding on to those those extra strings put your 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 needle right through the bottom of those stitches so right through the very bottom stitch just once there now you're going to knot those strings together on the back and you can trim them very, very small. There. Now does it look a bit like a muzzle? <laughs> so now what we're going to do is actually sew the muzzle onto the face of our bear. We're going to take our yarn needle Thread up the longer tail that you left when you made your white muzzle piece. Decide what part of your bare head you want at the bottom. So I want the bit where there's just a little bit of a, um, just a little bit of a, a, a top, a, sort of a tug in where I fastened off to be the bottom. And I'm going to put my little muzzle right at the bottom center so it's resting once again on the inside of that outer edge so the inside of the out outer edge stitches I just want it to rest right there at the bottom and I'm just going to take my hook and bring it up through and grab that longer tail or the, sh the shorter tail just to kind of get it out of my way because I want to be able to see what I'm doing now this is going to take a little bit of um, 
pausing. So you want to make sure that your your muzzle stays straight up and down, and that your little your little mouth kind of keeps focused, sort of keeps um, pointing downwards. So I like to hold my thumb on whatever it is that I'm sewing down, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to pick up a stitch on the front. So underneath that outer ridge, pick up a piece of the front of, of a stitch on the bare head. And you're going to come through the entire stitch of the muzzle. Pause. Make sure you didn't knock it out of alignment. Nope. Good. Pick up another piece of a stitch of the bare head. And the whole stitch on the muzzle. Another piece of the bare head and the whole stitch on the muzzle. And keep making sure that you're keeping it straight. Once you get all the way around to the bottom, you're just going to pick up one last stitch. Make sure that your muzzle is perfectly sewn down. It looks like mine is. And I'm going to bring this little short tail back up to the front, right in almost the exact same place that my other string has stopped. I'm going to knot these two together, and I'm going to try and make this knot really, really tight and really, really tiny along the side of the muzzle so that you can't see it. And then I'm going to do like I did when I was putting on the inner ear. So I'm going to just pick up a few stitches all the way through the inside of my muzzle. Thread up both threads and pull them through. Then I'm going to tug it back into place because I don't want it to look out of whack. Trim off the bits that I don't need. And there, my little muzzle's on. Now I think he needs some eyes. You're going to take your black yarn and you're going to cut about a foot and a half like you did when you were making the nose on your muzzle and we're going to make some French knots. So you're going to take your yarn needle, you're going to thread up your needle and then you're going to take your bare face and you're going to decide where it is you want the eyes. Now I think I want them to sit kind of low on either side of his nose. So what I'm going to do is I have sort of a rather handy hole here. I'm going to bring my hook up through that little space. And some of these spaces are created when you're making your stitches. And I think that one just happens to sit nice and neatly next to my muzzle. Leave some tail at the back. And this is how I like to do a French knot. I like to put my hook against the work where I'm going to put the knot and try to sort of hold them both together so that leaves my other hand free. Make sure that you keep a, thing, a finger on the thread behind so that it doesn't want to come up through and you're going to take your yarn and you're going to wrap it. You can go counterclockwise or clockwise, it doesn't matter, all the way around your hook. I like to do it five or six times. So there's six. And then Try to keep a thumb on that yarn and you can push your hook up through that yarn. Now it's going to come up a little bit and that's okay. That's because you've got this little tail at the back so try to just keep your fingers pinching it and you can pull it back into place down here. Now I'm going to run a stitch through an outside uh, loop of one of the stitches on the bare face and I'm going to do a couple of those just to sort of secure that eye and then I'm going to take my hook I'm going to run it through my muzzle so it's right through my muzzle you can't see it on the un underside to the other side of my muzzle and I'm going to pick up a little stitch over here. There we go. That's a good one. 
And now I'm going to do a French knot on this side. So I'm going to hold my, my uh, needle against my work. And now I don't have to really worry about this string back here because it's been secured. So I just have to hold my, my needle as tightly as I can against my work, which leaves my other hand free. And then I'm going to wrap. I'm going to go six times. So whatever number of wraps you did on the other side, make sure you do the same on this side. And I'm going to try and hold it and pinch the yarn at the same time. Push my needle through. This one's going to be a little tighter, so you're going to have to like rock it back and forth a little bit. Give it a tug. And out it comes. And pull it nice and tight. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to pick up a couple stitches on this side of the muzzle so that I can get that eye to lie where I want it to next to my other one. And I'm going to pick up that again. There. I'm going to go back through my muzzle to the other side. And I'm going to go out through the same hole that I came in on. So it's very important that you come out through the same hole so that you can tie those two ends together. And then you can snip them both. Pretty, pretty short. They don't have to be very long. And you can pull them back up into the underside of your muzzle so that that's not showing on the back. Or if this is going to be an applique or it's going to be glued into a scrapbook, you can just leave them there because they won't show. And there's our little face. Now all we have to do is sew on his little ears. <laughs> Take your yarn needle, thread up the longer tail that you left on the outside of your ear, and then you're going to want to decide where to put it. So I like this ear kind of to the edge and just off of his eye. So I'm going to put that there. And this just requires a little bit of, of finagling with your fingers. The first couple stitches are the important ones. Um, you're going to go through the whole outside stitch on the outside of your bear and the whole of the first stitch on the outside of your ear. And I recommend that you do that one twice because that will secure it in place. And now it makes it a little easier to sort of hold it and move it around. Now what you're going to do is pick up the next outside stitch on your bear and you're going to Pick up the inside of one of the sort of middle stitches and I recommend you do that one twice. Then you're going to do the third stitch in a row on the outside of the bare head and through the top of the stitch which would be your first or your last on the ear and I recommend that you do that twice. There we go. Then you can take your yarn, go through to the back, knot your two ends together, just ignore those little black ones, trim them so that they're the same length, and then pick up a few stitches on the back side of your ear with your yarn needle, thread both of those ends and pull them through. Trim off what you don't need and there's ear number one. Now you need to put on number two. And there is one super cute little bear head. Now, you can put a little ribbon bow on him, or you can put it down here like a little bow tie. You can also make two bare head circles exactly the same, and sew the back one onto the first one 
just to give your your bear a little more strength you can even stuff it a little with fiber fill to make them poof out a little bit more and if you're going to put them on a barrette or some sort of freestanding element like that you might want to consider that but this is perfect now to go into a scrapbook to be sewn onto a jumper or a hat or a baby blanket or a scarf or any other sweet little thing that you might want to put a little teddy bear head on. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? I might just turn him into a little brooch because I love teddy bears everywhere. <laughs> I've put these on hats in the past too. They're not just for kids. Adults like teddy bears as well, so remember that. That's it for this week, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in once again to the Jada and Stitches show. I'd like to invite you all to follow me on Facebook, Google+, Etsy, Instagram, and Pinterest, where I have a lot of nifty ideas and uh, musings over upcoming projects. Please remember to like our videos so you can share them with your crafty friends. And if you haven't already subscribed, you can click the subscribe button below too and never miss another episode of all the fun we're having here at Jaden Stitches. If you make this cute little teddy bear face and you sew them onto something, or even if you stick them in a scrapbook, please post your pictures on Facebook and Google Plus for me to see because I absolutely love to see what people do with our tutorials. That's it for this week, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in once again, and we'll see you again soon on the Jaden Stitches Show. Bye!